right back mixed up. First step is to put a notch or thin set down on your surface for the tri pack to bond to. I'm also going to spread some up my edge here so that the two floors meet and it bites really good right there. So I'm going to do that right now. Okay, real quick shot of the end process. I've got my thin set spread. I'm going to put dry pack over that for bonds. So the reason I coat my screeds with that waterproofing is that thin set really grabs good to this particular waterproofing membrane. Plus it's smoother, those little sand pebbles from your dry pack don't fall off while you're screeding. But that's what it looks like. Then you just, you just start filling this thing full of mud. Get a good layer in there that you can walk on and work on. But basically like that. And then you walk it down and pack it down. That embeds it into that thin set. So this thing's locked in when you pack it all in. Okay, so I've got thin set for bond. I'll throw some mud in here. You're gonna want to pack that edge in, get that thin set to grab like that to that mortar. Just like that. I'm gonna leave it a little low so I do my or throw extra mud in here as I'm screeding it to come up so I don't have to pull a bunch of mud. And I just went ahead and laid down all my thin set real quick. I'm gonna go get mud and just Put me about an inch layer in here, just enough to bond that thin set and get it smashed in there. Then I'll begin to screed over there and work my way back. Got my thin set down for bond. I'm just laying down a bed of mortar to bond into that thin set. So now you can get out on it. Just move this around real quick. Your goal is to get this thin set covered up as fast as you can so it doesn't flash off. like that. Just get every, all the thin set covered up. You can be sloppy with it right now. Pack it in so that it, get, it collapses those ridges. Now I've got a solid base coat down I can walk on, work on, lift it and load. But it's packed in so that it's bonded into that thin set down below. I'll just go around and you can walk it with your feet, or you can pack it down with a float, which is what I did. I'm gonna go get some more mud. This is the point when you can, you've got your elevation figured out, you're just bringing that mud back with you. You can really just sit back. I really enjoy doing mud, it's my favorite. It's my all time favorite, I'll do mud any day of the week. But now I just get to sit back, screed this off, and watch it all come together. Pretty cool stuff.